Good morning, guys. It's Frosty. This is a mass airflow sensor, and it goes on your intake. This is for the uh, for my 2017 Chevrolet 2500 HD Duramax. This is a diesel. If you ever change one of these, this mass airflow sensor, make sure that you take your negative terminals off on both batteries or you'll throw a code. It, it just fits, slides right, actually slides right into the uh, intake and then you just plug it in here and it's got a little clip that holds it in place. There's a reason I'm showing you this. Here's one. Uh, this is a genuine GM part, whatever. Paid $140 for that, $145, whatever. Now, this one here is a map sensor. This is on the intake itself. Uh, up on the top of the intake on the Duramax, the L5P. I'm opening this up. I don't really need this, I don't think because I'm changing this out and I'm gonna relocate it. The reason being, this little bitty tiny, I don't know if you can see it, that little bitty tiny balloon there, that little blue thing, this whole thing here will fill up with carbon. And this is what senses the airflow, that little bitty balloon in there. Well, what I'm doing is I've got this map sensor spacer, and this comes from uh, S&B. It comes just like this. Uh, it's a, an aluminum spacer, and you put this in here, like so. This fits in here, it slides down in, there's an O-ring, you can see. You just wiggle it down in there, and then once it's in, you're moving, it's, instead of sitting here, it's moving back here. Still gonna, you know, feel the flow or uh, be regulated by the flow. Uh, this is the bolt that'll go in here to hold it down. And you can see this is the same thing as that. This is the same as that. All you're doing is you're taking this from here and relocating it back here. When you relocate it back here, that gets, so you can feel that little rubber spacer there. That gets all that carbon buildup off of this little cage. This little cage is all there to protect that. I'm not thinking I'm going to need to replace this, but it's 40 some dollars, so I went ahead and bought it anyway. Uh, you can actually spray this with MAP cleaner and clean this whole thing out. And it, rarely do these go bad. But you got to make sure if you ever replace these that this O-ring is in place. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem with flow. Now, like I said, all this does is it just, it, the, the airflow is going to go in here, come up into here, into this. And then reg it's going to regulate it back and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But that's what this does is this just is a, uh, a spacer. And it moves it from sticking straight down to the back so that the carbon buildup is not on this cage here. That's what these are. And that's what I'm going to do this weekend on the truck. Uh, I may change this. I may not. I'm thinking about putting a cold air intake on there. I've got it out there. It's just... I've got a lot going on here and I'm trying to find time to get it because I'm going to need a hand to get it and I've got to wait for my buddy to get a chance to help me. And, uh, but that's what we're going to do is try to get that done. He's put on, I don't know how many of those cold air intakes and he's saying it's pretty simple to do. Uh, and it takes about 30 minutes. I've seen it. I could probably do it, but I'd rather have somebody there that has done it before in case I run into something that I'm not familiar with. But this uh, MAP, this, if your tr diesel is running rough or it's not running, it's idles rough and something's wrong, or it's using more fuel than it should, all this, these little, all these things connect to your ECMs. 
and your ECM is what controls your flow of uh, fuel. So, you know, that's this and this can have a problem. And a lot of times, the problem may go on for a while until these things completely stop and then they throw a code and then you've got an engine code telling you that there is a problem. But that's what these are. They're very simple to replace. Two bolts, put them in there. One bolt, that one goes in. It's just make sure that if they have an O-ring that you replace it. This is Frosty, guys, and I appreciate you watching.